Welcome to the Treehouse. I'm Miss Haley Beth, here with my good buddy, Nitty! Hey everyone, man, I can already tell that today is gonna be great! The sun is shining, the birds are chirping, tweet tweet, and the phone is ringing! The clouds are well warm! Wait, the phone is ringing? Let's answer to see who it is! Oh yeah, good idea! Hello! Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Randy, from Godfather's Pizza, and one of your good friends. <laughs> yes, we know. How's it going, Randy? Yeah, uh, are you calling because you need a pizza tester to quality check your pizzas? Because if so, I may know a guy. Well, actually, I'm calling to see if uh, I happen to leave my pizza cutter at your treehouse uh, the last time I was there. Well, I can't seem to find it, and I don't really have time to look. I gotta make a ton of pizzas in less than two hours for Bob Orlando! Yeah, apparently he's having a, some sort of viewing party for the new TV show he hosts called So I Think You Can't Dance. Wow, well, I think you're in luck, Randy. I do remember seeing a pizza cutter around earlier. Okay, awesome. Can you guys bring that by Godfather's Pizza? A-S-A-Y-P-C? A-S-A-Y-P-C? What does that mean? A-S-A-Y-P-C. It's a quicker way to say as soon as you possibly can in order to save time. I'd argue that it's actually wasting time because you have to explain it. Uh, maybe you're right. Uh, thanks for the tip, but I gotta go. Lots of pizzas to make and not a lot of time to make them. See you later. Man, I've never seen Randy that flustered before. He only said bro once. Maybe when we go to take his pizza cutter back, we should see if he needs any help. Oh yeah, Randy is our true friend and we should have his back in tough times like these. Good call. In fact, that's what today's main point is all about. True friends stand by you. Come on, repeat after me. True friends. True friends. Stand by you. Stand by you. Great job. Come on, Nettie. Let's go grab the pizza cutter and take it to Randy. Oh, sounds good. You know, I wasn't joking about being a pizza tester, right? I really would like to be. I'm sure you'd be a really good one. Oh, yeah. Maybe he'll let me do it. All right, let's go. everyone, I am Scientist Drake, and today we will be performing the great Core Values Experiment. To begin our Core Values, we start with Love God, and we love God because God loved us first. And without loving God, we cannot have any of our other Core Values. And so to start our experiment, we will begin with this simple base of our own. As I put in, why don't we say Love God together? Ready? One, two, three. Very interesting indeed. Our next addition to the core values experiment will be this large cup of uranium sulfite. Now, there are over 1,173 different types of rocks in the world. And I know what you're thinking, that sounds like a lot. But there's even more people in the world, and God has called us to love them all. That's why our next core value is love people, because God loved all people. Let's begin by adding the sulfate. Had me for a scare there, but it looks like everything is shaping up to be right as planned. Our next core value is do your best, and we do our best because God will do the rest. And so next we're going to be adding our best ingredients, but also our rather stinkiest. This, this large container of lime salt deposit powder. So why don't you hold your nose and pour it in with me. Say do your best on the count of three. One, two, three. Do your best! Oh, oh, I unplugged my nose too soon. Our last and final core value is, is one that I'm rather excited for. And that's very fitting because our final core value is have fun. Because God gives me joy. And to have joy today, we get to use this highly flammable container of aerosol CF100 isotope 4. I must be very careful. This can get rather dangerous. A little bit of a flame there. Ready? All together now. Have fun. 
One, two, three! <laughs> well, we've done it! We've created the Great Corvax Experiment! I'm Scientist Drake! And goodbye! <laughs>so many pizzas to make. I have no idea how I'm gonna finish them all in two hours. I'm already so exhausted from the ones I've already made. Oh, I know, I can take a quick little snooze break to charge my batteries and then I'll be ready to roll on the rest of the pizzas. No problem! Ha, that's a great idea. Yeah, <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just relax. Ugh. Pizza. Pepperoni Sleep in
True friends stand by you. See you around, Randy. Come on, Eddie. Let's head back to the treehouse. And while we do that, let's check out our memory verse. Oh, good idea. All this making pizza has made me hungry. Can we stop for ice cream on the way back, too? Sure. Why not? Yeah! <laughs> It's me, Miss Ashley, and it's time for our memory verse. Remember, we do our memory verse so that you can keep it in your heart all the time. Our verse today is all about friendship. God created all of us to be in relationship with others, and a true friend is something that all of us need. And today's verse shows us what that looks like perfectly. We're going to say the verse three times. First, I'll say it, then you're going to repeat after me, and then we'll say it all together. So when you're ready, say, let's go. Let's go! All right, let's do it. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Oh yeah! Proverbs 17, 17. Okay, now repeat after me. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Oh yeah! Proverbs 17, 17. That was great. Now let's say it all together. A friend loves at all times, and a brother is born for a time of adversity. Oh yeah. Proverbs 17, 17. Great job, everyone. Now remember, keep saying it and keep it in your heart. Wow, today was a lot of fun helping out our true friend Randy with all those pizzas. That kind of reminds me like our main point today. A true friend stands by you. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 4 verse 12, an enemy might defeat one person, but two people together can defend themselves. A rope that has three parts wrapped together is hard to break. The Bible is super clear that we can't do life alone. We need true friends who will be honest with us, lead us in the right direction, and stand by us when times get tough. There's a story in the Bible told by Jesus about a man who stood by a fellow friend. It's called the Good Samaritan. This is a true story from the Bible by Jesus. Jesus is the Son of God, and during his time on earth, he shared incredible wisdom with others that we can still read today in the Bible. Many times he taught through something called parables, which are stories. One of these parables is the story of a Jewish man traveling to a distant town for business. On the way, he was attacked by robbers. The man was beaten, stripped, and left on the ground to lie in pain. All seemed hopeless for the man, but then a priest, or teacher of God's word, walked by the man and instead of helping, he crossed to the other side of the road and walked away. Again, the man was left alone with no hope of help. But then another teacher of the law, known as a Levite, came across the man, but he too decided to walk by because he had no time. And yet again, the man was left alone with no hope of help. Yet finally, in the distance, he saw another man approaching, a Samaritan man. The Samaritan man saw the opportunity to help the injured traveler, and rather than simply walking by, he bandaged him and gave him a place to stay, all because he knew that a true friend stands by you. What an incredible story about a true friend standing by another. Life can be full of challenges, and the challenges can look different for everyone. Maybe it could look like having a problem with schoolwork, or an argument with brothers and sisters, or maybe even being made fun of and bullied. Alone, these things can feel terrible. But that's why God gave us true friends to stand by our side, to help us when the going gets tough to support us when we feel down, and to love us like Jesus does. You know, Jesus is the best friend you could ever have. He came to earth to free you from your sins and be your best friend forever. It's really easy to invite Jesus into your life. All you have to do is repeat this prayer after me. Just say, Dear Jesus, Thank you for giving your life on the cross for me. Come into my life, forgive me of my mistakes, make me brand new, and be my very best friend. Lord, I love you.
and I thank you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray, and all God's people said, Amen. Wow. If that was your very first time asking Jesus into your heart, then I want you to know that I am so proud of you. And I want you to tell someone in your life that you love and trust because they're going to be so proud of you too. Oh, Miss Haley Beth! Miss Haley Beth! Hey, Nettie, what's up? Man, today has been so cool. I love pizza. And more importantly, I love my true friends. Oh, oh no! True friends! We haven't listened to our music video yet. Oh, no. I promised my true friend, Hanks Brooks Jr., that I would never not listen to him when we're talking about true friends. But we're running out of time for the show! <laughs> Wait! I got it! If we play it at two times the speed, we'll have enough time! Do you think we can do it? I think so. Yes! Roll it! Pizza? It really makes me want some more pizza. How about you? I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs>